Uh, okay, uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today we are going to be talking of uh, a very uh, innovative topic uh, which is happening all around. Uh, that is the Bitcoin technology and uh, the blockchains. So, uh, what we are into is that Bitcoin is uh, information technology breakthrough that facilitates both secure, decentralized payment system and a tool for storage, verification and auditing of information, including digital representation of value. Uh, Bitcoin is being developed way back in 2009. Uh, it's been uh, for wrong reasons, uh, uh, just because of the ransomware which has come in, but it's also got uh, uh, wonderful uh, utility, utility which is available and uh, uh, we all can utilize it. Uh, especially when uh, we are talking of uh, it being used in uh, the blockchain, in banking sector, in finance sector. Uh, Bitcoin is also an intangible unit of account that facilitates the decentralized computer network of Bitcoin users. So uh, there are a huge pool of Bitcoin users uh, which do the Bitcoin mining and uh, by solving the algorithms. Uh, and uh, they are being using all the resources uh, all across the uh, globe uh, for solving this algorithm. With this as a uh, broad background, uh, we will be uh, going through uh, introduction. And thereafter, we'll have uh, insight into a uh, Bitcoin because I like uh, the people to come on the same platform when we are uh, talking about the Bitcoins. Uh, we will talk of the blockchain and uh, understanding the potential. Uh, in terms of the finance sector, especially in uh, and digital identification, which is there, and then we'll wrap up uh, with question and answer. Right? Okay, uh, Bitcoin is not a physical currency. Uh, it is a currency which is a digital currency, and it is only a method of transmitting money, right? So it uh, started uh, sometime uh, in 2008 by Sato uh, Satoshi Nakamoto. Uh, when he wrote a concept paper and uh, he developed an open source software in uh, 2009. Uh, initial years, uh, the Bitcoin was uh, in Goldrum. Uh, it started uh, with just $1 value. And uh, today, as you're all aware, it's shuttling almost around $634. That's uh, uh, today's fluctuating market, uh, which is available. Payments recorded. Uh, are uh, recorded in a publicly disclosed ledgers, which are called the blockchain. And uh, blockchain is one of the technologies which are being used today uh, in a big way. People have started realizing uh, the potential of uh, blockchain in the financial sector, uh, where it gives a lot of uh, uh, way for working uh, you know, in an integrated manner for the digital and the financial uh, transactions. It's a form of digital currency, which I have already told, and uh, it's been created electronically. And uh, you can use it for buying things. Uh, it's uh, no different from uh, the conventional dollars uh, we do. It's also called the uh, cryptocurrency. And uh, the smallest unit is called the Satoshi. Uh, that is uh, the 100 million of a BTC, that the Bitcoin transaction. Uh, this slide I'm uh, trying to show that if you see that it started in 2009 uh, with uh, the Nakamoto writing the paper and uh, January 2009 the Bitcoin was being launched uh, into the market and it started very dismally with 0.14 dollar and subsequently in 2016 if you look at it uh, it's got a uh, you know varying uh, timeline initially it never picked up only in 2013, uh, there was a major breakthrough when it came, when the German finance ministry recognizes the Bitcoin as uh, the unit of account. Uh, thereafter, the Bitcoin actually took off, got into the wrong uh, modes of uh, transactions. And especially, this is the currency which is being used for transi transacting into the uh, Silk Road, if you're all aware of the dark web for buying the drugs, for ammunition, for arms, and 
uh, all other illegal trading. Uh, Bitcoin has been, uh, again, you know, there were being a hacking up, uh, which had taken place uh, only very recently where 65 million uh, Bitcoin were being hacked. Uh, some of the features of uh, Bitcoin I would like to bring out, it's a uh, diplomatry and uh, the value is not going to be the same uh, all across. Uh, it is going to be cut in every half four years uh, of its uh, being uh, mined. And it is nearly indivis uh, infinitely divisible uh, up to eight decimal places. And uh, you can see uh, almost uh, 100 million uh, uh, value uh, it's being uh, seen. Uh, whenever there is a Bitcoin mining which takes place, uh, there is a transaction fees which is being paid to the network. And uh, and it is a consensus, consensus uh, driven uh, kind of uh, economy. There is no central authority which is available uh, for uh, the Bitcoin uh, transactions which are there. Uh, it is uh, quantified uh, resilient, cannot add uh, coins arbitrarily. It cannot spend uh, because the binding factor are the blockchain uh, which are available. And it is a non repudiation There's that is there's no recourse and no one can appeal for the return of the stolen tokens. So uh, once the tokens are gone, you cannot do anything about it. Right. This one. Uh, coming on to the Bitcoin ecosystem, uh, there are four primary pillars of uh, the Bitcoin platform. One are the miners who are actually mining uh, the Bitcoins. And uh, second are the users uh, who are the ones who are using these Bitcoins and uh, into the market. Then the merchant and, uh, where, and, and the fourth one, the services as the wallets and the exchanges. Even the trading market today is uh, uh, one which is uh, trading the bitcoins all across the world uh, though in india this bitcoin is uh, illegal entity as of now right uh, a total of uh, 15.2 million uh, bitcoins have been circulated till now in uh, till february 2016 uh, and uh, it is to be anticipated that there will be only a 21 million bitcoins which are actually be created uh, uh, the algorithms are so designed that after 21 million uh, uh, bitcoins, there'll be nothing uh, which will get created after that. And uh, that time frame is given as 2140. Uh, that is the year where uh, the bitcoins are going to be you know, uh, stopped. Uh, however, the, the point of concern is that almost 72% of the bitcoins are already in circulation uh, uh, today. Okay. And uh, there are 25 new bitcoins uh, produced every 10 minutes. Uh, while we are talking, there's a bitcoin mining. If you see on the net, you can online check as to uh, which are the places the bitcoin mining is actually taking place. Right. Uh, as of today, uh, the one bitcoin value as I brought it is $631, uh, which is very unstable. And uh, there are almost a 30 tra transactions per minute uh, which are uh, taking place. Uh, vis vis the visa transactions, which are uh, 200,000. Per minute, right? Uh, if you look at uh, the the block, the, the the graph which is there is from 2009 onwards, how uh, the Bitcoin are into circulation, and uh, and look at the 2012, uh, there has been a substantial increase of uh, the Bitcoins. Right. This is the trading market uh, which is online which uh, is happening like the trading market we have the bsc and the nc and uh, the uh, the bitcoins have been traded here okay. uh, this is the rates this is the rates in euros uh, us dollars <coughs> and uh, other other currencies which are all already there this is all the the bitcoin activities as visa vis other uh, mastercards and visa card uh, where the bitcoin stands so it's quite taking up uh, as regards the Bitcoin uh, availability and acceptability in the market. Uh, uh, how can uh, one obtain a Bitcoin? I've uh, listed out various methods. Uh, you can get it through the, the mining, uh, you can buy Bitcoins, 
you can buy bitcoins in exchanges you can trade them through for the traditional currency uh, you can uh, go to the bitcoin atm there are uh, certain countries which are permitting bitcoin atms uh, you can get the bitcoins from there uh, uh, you can do uh, get into a mining pool uh, to bitcoin and uh, various ways you can also get it through the donations gambling uh, getting tipped uh, are the methodologies of you know obtaining bitcoins uh, what is it based on uh, it is uh, it's a system run by the uh, the bitcoin protocol uh, it's based on the mathematical uh, 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 algorithm and uh, it, it is the uh, the way uh, it's been uh, uh, that bitcoin mining which takes place using the resources of the uh, various uh, uh, computing powers all across the world and uh, there are several features uh, being as part uh, as apart from being a fiat currency uh, it is decentralized uh, it is anonymous it is completely transparent because all the uh, the blockchains which are there are the transparent how it's happening i will be you know uh, telling you uh, uh, subsequently uh, the transaction the uh, transaction fee is minuscule uh, which i already brought out is 0 0.01 dollar is uh, per transaction you have to pay and the transactions are irreversible uh, gentlemen, now I just want to uh, bring out that I think we are just left with four minutes of uh, the uh, the conference room time. What I'll do is that uh, immediately uh, the moment we lapse this particular time, I'll create uh, a room again on the similar lines and uh, circulate on the uh, WhatsApp group so that you know uh, just log in again and uh, we'll be able to continue with uh, another session. Uh, am I, I hope I am clear on this. Okay. Uh, how uh, bitcoins are decentralized is that uh, uh, there are digital wallet, uh, uh, wallets uh, which operate in a peer to peer mode. Uh, when it starts, it bootstraps to find the other wallets. That is how it is working. It's a, such a beautiful network uh, when you uh, do a, a bitcoin mining and you are connected to the bitcoin uh, the blockchains. And uh, originally, it used uh, the IRC network for communicating. Later on, it started uh, using the WhatsApp protocol, uh, which is again an anonymous protocol uh, for uh, the communication and uh, uh, the passing of the information between the nodes. And now it's based on the DNS and the seed nodes. That is how uh, the different nodes are connected. Uh, what is happening is that uh, the wallets do get synchronized with the network by downloading all the transactions and these transactions are uh, in the form of genesis block and they are stored in each and every computer and uh, the blockchain data which is there is around 57 gb as we are talking uh, it gets uh, downloaded onto the uh, the person who's doing the bitcoin mining along with the software so that the, all the blockchain records which are uh, available are uh, stored on uh, to the computer of the individual. Uh, this this is a, a major uh, 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 transparency that all the blockchain data is available uh, with a particular user. And uh, using the gossip uh, the gossip protocol, the the wallet share all the transaction information uh, with the peers. This is uh, how uh, the Genesis protocol looks. Uh, if you look at in the top row, uh, part of it, it represents uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the first part of the Genesis block and later part shows the, uh, shows the shortened version of data which is available in the top. So this is how the data is being stored in each of the uh, uh, Genesis block. Okay. And uh, uh, when we were talking of that uh, all the block information is being stored. Uh, this is how uh, on the on the slide uh, you can see that uh, the previous block and the transaction detail, uh, the public private key uh, information which is there is all uh, coming on to uh, uh, the Genesis block which is encrypted and uh, it is downloaded onto the machines of uh, the person with the Bitcoin. Yeah. Uh, the point flows from uh, the input to output is uh, it, it is how is that it used the public and the uh, private key algorithm uh, as you are aware that uh, normally when we do uh, any the public private key uh, algorithm usage we block uh, 
a particular file with the public key and the uh, the private key is being utilized by the person you know uh, uh, decrypting it whereas in the case of uh, the bitcoins what we are trying to do is that we lock the uh, the block with the private key and the public key is given to all the people who want to you know uh, utilize that uh, to open the, the to decrypt the private key and whoever gets the first uh, he his uh, uh, success ratio is higher so that is how uh, the transaction actually takes place uh, in the in the viewpoint you can see that uh, 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 the blocks are being encrypted by uh, owners uh, public key and, and the private key and thereafter uh, it's being opened uh, or decrypted uh, using the public key of the uh, by the other person so this is a, a chain reaction which is taking place uh, from one block to other 